Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 38. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, we are here with the TVR Tuscan S Challenge. Starting off with Sunset Peninsula Infield, moving on to Silverstone, Road Atlanta, and finishing off with Miguelo Full. Let's get going. Alright, let's go. I'm about to fucking jump off a bridge at this rate. So hot. It's gone up to 30. Genuinely, like, for anyone else out there that's like, ooh, it's not that hot. Remember, we live in the UK. Our average weather is about 5 to 10 degrees Celsius. So when it's anything above, like, 20 higher than normal, that's like an Australian sitting in Australia and their temperature hitting 50 degrees Celsius, 55 degrees Celsius. Like, at that point, I'd be willing to allow an Australian to complain about the heat because of how much more it is than their average summer. This is just unreal. I got what I want, I can't complain. I'm living the good life, a toast to you now, it's all champagne. Right, we didn't absolutely bottle it into the wall this time. My drink is already warm. And I've had it out of the fridge for about 30 minutes. Not even. That's just ridiculous. I'm gonna knock you out. Mama said knock you out. Good old five finger death punch. Make some banging tunes. Is this a song with Tech Nine? Not bad. You out. Mama said, knock you out. I'm gonna knock you out. Mama said, knock you out. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bang, bang. Oop, 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 oop. <laughs> the ADHD is kicking in.
Not bad. TVR behind me. On to the last lap. Let's go. Not tell you why. Not bad. Coming across the finish line, that is us done for this first race. Whew. Not bad. Looking pretty good. 25 grand. I'll take it. All right. So we're going to uh, do this race. Um, I have turned the AI down. Because it's just unbearable. I would like to turn traction control off. But I'm playing on controller. And uh, my throttle control isn't amazing. Without adaptive triggers. So. Because the, uh, the adaptive triggers are almost like you're your own traction control so that's why i typically will run a lot less traction control on gran turismo but um but yeah uh i know i've already said this on stream but i haven't said it for youtube yet so uh we are now carrying on this on another day it is now monday instead of the friday that we were recording the start of the episode on um but it's actually hotter today than it was on Friday. And I know I was complaining the entire recording session. Oh my god, it's so hot, it's so hot. It's hotter today. So um on Friday it was twenty nine degrees Celsius. Saturday was thirty and a half, thirty one, somewhere around there. Oh Jesus, not good. Um and then Sunday was thirty three degrees Celsius. Which is insane. Now, it's 31 today, but our weather app predicted that on Sunday it was going to be 30. And it ended up being 33. So, oh no, Hans, we're about 60%. I don't know why it keeps resetting my progress on my title there. It's because I'm not saving it properly. Um, and yeah. It's extremely hot. Problem is, this Sunday has been scheduled to be 34 degrees Celsius. It's been predicted to be 34. Now, I'm not one to say anything, but based on the fact that every day that we've had hot weather this year, it's always been 2 degrees at least more than what they predicted. This Sunday's probably going to be about 30. 36 degrees celsius which if it does turn out to be that hot i'm cancelling that stream immediately i will just let everyone know in discord sod the stream i'm getting in a paddling pool I'll, I'll do an irl paddling pool stream or something outside like that's the level that i'll go to because there is no way in hell i'm going to be sitting inside while it's 36 degrees Celsius. It would, my room would end up being about 42. 
Something like that. Maybe 43. It'd be hot. It's already hot enough as it is now, but... We power on! Like a G! You get me? No. Um, also, yeah, I wouldn't mind 20 degrees. See, the thing is, right, a lot of people... Line, don't change up under the light line. I love this song. It's by uh, Swedish House Mafia. Um, but yeah, a lot of people will say, oh, Brits are complaining about 30 degrees Celsius. Like, we've got, like, 45 degrees Celsius. It's like, well... Remember, our average temperature is about 8 degrees Celsius. So when it's 32, that's 25 degrees hotter than it should be. Yeah. I mean, we love a little bit of warmth when it's warmer than our average. The problem with that is when it's warmer than our average, it's comfortable. When it's well above our average, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. We've obviously got sea. Like, we're an island, so we've got sea everywhere. But um, the problem is it's still a fair distance. Like, if you're in the middle of, say, where we are, um, it's... We can have lakes and stuff like that dotted around, but it's not the beach experience. So to go to a beach, you've got to drive about an hour in any direction from where I live to get to the sea. Whoa, that was uh, snappy. Yeah, it is a really big fucking island. But then again, you could technically say the United States is just a really fucking big island as well. But that's like a country with some seaside. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, I'm not really a good fan of, like, outdoor shit, to be honest. But, like, I don't mind maybe once a week sitting outside for an hour or so and just chilling. Because, again, I'm not an outdoors person. I don't get the thrill as much. I get the relaxation part, but I don't get the thrill and, like, when people go outside and it's like, oh, let's go for a run, let's go and do this, let's go... No, it doesn't excite me. It doesn't interest me, so... Yeah, Croatia. <laughs> yeah, an hour drive's not too bad, to be honest. I think no matter where you are in the UK, I think you're within an hour away from a beach. I think that's the statistic. Not 100% sure. That's the problem. So, it, in a sense, we do, but our breeze is not substantial enough from that distance. So, we'll normally have sea breeze up until probably about five miles away from the beach. And then that sea breeze disappears because we've got so many buildings 
by the sea. Um, that it just pretty much wipes out the breeze. Um, so we just end up with like normal wind, not sea breeze. Yeah, it's definitely not dry here. That's for sure. It's just ridiculously... Oh, it's alright, and <laughs> It's all fine. Yeah, it's just... It's... I mean, again... It's not, um... Yeah, it's unbearable. Let's go with that. <laughs> but, um, I don't mind a little bit of heat. I just don't like too much heat. Hey, breathe you. This is not a bad song. There we go. I will take that result. Thank you very much. Cheers. All right, here we go. We're on uh, to race number three. I forgot to change the difficulty back up. I'll do it for the next one. I've also got to get a ooh, thumbnail picture for this one. We'll do it on this track. Do you want to know one thing I found out today? Right, that I did not know existed. So, um, in the UK, I don't know about anywhere else. Um, but I know specifically in the UK, it definitely exists. I've not really heard of it much elsewhere, to be honest. Um, but we got this thing called squash. Right? It's not the vegetable. It's not the sport. It's basically like... Um, fruit juice, but it's extremely concentrated and really strong. And you basically pour some in a glass and then you add water to it and it makes fruit juice. Sometimes it doesn't taste great because of it being like... Adding water to it is weird. But... Ah... It's all right, especially on a hot day. And you need to just get lots of liquid in it, in you. Squash is the way to go. Um, what we have, though, we have, like, normal strength squash, which is, like, you pour a quarter of your cup full with squash and you fill the rest of it up with water. That's my combination that I like doing um, because you know actually having like I like the flavor still to be there the actual recommended amount of squash per water ratio is like really watery and really crappy so I never do that but uh, then you've got um, what's it called we've got double strength which basically means you need half the amount and just double the water. And that's what I'm used to drinking is double strength. So you don't pour as much in. But uh, today I found out that there is such thing as quadruple strength squash. Which is twice as strong as double strength. Now, knowing me, I don't read labels on things. I just assume that because double strength is like a normal thing here. Um, I poured in a double strength serving, took a sip, and I was probably, like, instantly dehydrated. <laughs> it was ridiculous. So, naturally... It wasn't very nice. And I found that out the hard way. <laughs>
be. A freak like me just needs infinity. We'd be absolutely done for if we were doing this on medium difficulty, I'll be honest. So, I think it's kind of lucky that I wasn't on that difficulty. Not bad. Such a beautiful engine, I'll be honest. It does sound really nice, but the problem is, it looks like a dead frog. So... There we go, not bad. I think, oh, Jesus Christ, there's a fly here. Um, I think what I may end up doing is um, for Motorsport 3, maybe Motorsport 4. No. It'd be Motorsport 5 when we start doing it, because that's when the games move to 1080p. When the games start moving to, like, proper full-on 1080p, uh, I'm actually going to start uploading in 1440p. Uh, only because whenever YouTube renders a 1080p video, it looks really odd. But if you watch on a 1080p monitor, watching 1440p, it looks crystal clear. So my plan is to record in 1080p and then render it as a 1440p video. And hopefully, it will make it look a little clearer on YouTube. But I've got to um, test that out first. Um, but hopefully it does work. And if it doesn't, well, fuck. Oh. Can I get back on? Cheers. Got a baby, what do you need? Just wanna love you, baby. Always thinking of you, baby. Just wanna love you, baby. Always thinking of you, baby. Not bad. Woo. Lovely. I'll take my rewards. Thank you very much. For YouTube, doesn't interfere too much with Twitch. So, oh, for fuck's sake, we're on the last lap and it's disconnected. It's this goddamn track. Oh! And uh, there could be the potential that I just sit and record a 
Whoa! Why the fuck does this car not handle like a normal fucking car? Attempt number, I've lost fucking count because I'm so fucking pissed off with this fucking car. <laughs> Show play a game of what's the chances that this video is going to get demonetized by YouTube for the amount of fucking swearing in it. <laughs> oh, this is so unbearable. Yeah, this, um... Saturday's cruise session should still be going on. Um... So yeah, over the next few weeks, the only one that I'm very concerned about, probably not going ahead, is the Sunday one. But if the Saturday one it does get too hot, we might cut it short. We might have to cancel it and remove it. Um, because again, I can't be doing a stream if it's 40 degrees Celsius. Like, that's just ridiculous. Hey, no worries, Jeffy. Um, yeah. But uh, if we do cancel, like, Sunday and Monday next week, then uh, all that will happen is that Monday stream will be moved to Tuesday. And potentially, if Tuesday's temperatures are looking a bit better, might be able to do a 12-hour Forza Motorsport 2 stream to make up for lost time. Ever would you ever... Uh... Would you ever? Only. Uh, this one. This one. Only. Only. This one. Joe, I learned something really cool uh, last night, chat. I don't know whether uh, this is of any interest to any of you, but it was of interest to me, so I don't care. I'm going to tell you anyways. But uh, the song, Take Me Back to London by Ed Sheeran and Stormzy, was actually produced by Skrillex. I did not know this until yesterday, and I was absolutely mind blown. To be perfectly honest. I was like, what? Skrillex did that? Mad song. Is this that Megan Trainer song that I added? Yeah, it is. This is a fucking tune. I thought this was supposed to be random, by the way. It's not very random, is it? Whoa! Here before. Wasting my, wasting my time with you. Joe, yeah, I really am a strong believer that artists need to work together to make songs. Like, whenever you have, like, an individual artist, they very rarely make a good song. Like a solo artist. They have to make songs with other people.
Shit. No bad. Blocked him off. I can feel the sweat dripping down my face when I'm with you. Because it's so hot. And it's boiling. There's a little bit of uh, improv there. Joe's <laughs> really bad is I just want to keep drinking like stuff. Holy crap. Not bad. Good bit of Fred V. What's that noise? See the little train behind us? I forget how good this song is. Trust me. So unstable through the corners. Just got away with that. Oh. Oh, don't do it again. Not bad. Right, you can disconnect now. If you're going to disconnect at any point, controller, disconnect now. Because now is the time where it does not matter. It's not going to, but it'll do it at a really important point soon. I can guarantee you it. Not bad, though. Welcome back. Oh, it's trying to post times to the scoreboards, apparently. Please don't bother. Okay. Cheers, game. All right, here we go. The uh, game decided to start working again. Uh, we got a bonus of 38 grand, and I believe we got Cerberus Speed 12, I think it was. It looks like it. Yeah, that's Cerberus Speed 12. The most ugliest card that's ever existed. Fuck yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.